The weather is heating up and anglers are already out hitting the Detroit River, Lake Erie and Lake St. Clair for fishing season. But the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services is warning about some of the toxins fish you catch and eat could be carrying. Chemicals like mercury and PFAS, which have been linked to brain effects and cancer, are top of mind. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney spoke to the state health department and local fishermen about concerns. For fishermen on the Detroit River, a hook and rod are second nature. We've got a mixture of pre-spawn and post-spawn female walleyes here. These are about 25, 26 inches. Um, great eating fish and we got some smaller eater ones as well. Rob Barnes with Barnstormer Sport Fishing says he's been jigging for walleye since he was four years old. I mostly target walleye on my charter service, um, but being that we're connected to the Great Lakes, everything swims through here. Well, um, a couple of days ago we caught a coho salmon. Uh, you can hook sturgeon in here. Obviously those have to be released immediately. Smallmouth bass, it's just a tremendous resource. Anglers say right now is one of the best times to be out on the water. It's unbelievable. We have one of the best, most fertile fisheries in the world. The Lake Erie um, walleye stock is at almost record high right now. It's, it's just absolutely awesome fishing. We have a huge push from coming up Detroit River and just overall we're super blessed. Angler Spencer Berman says during the spring he's out with his charter guests twice a day. He says although Michigan waterways are mostly safe, he's always cognizant of the dangers that remain, like PFAS and mercury levels, which can impact the fish we eat. It definitely something's in the back of your mind, but we're very lucky. Our waterways are very, very clean. Uh, we have such fast moving current. It doesn't tend to have as much of a buildup of mercury levels as some of the other places that have a lot more mud and muck. In the past, anglers have been mostly warned about mercury levels in the fish that they catch and eat. But now scientists are also concerned about PFAS and PFOs. Those forever chemicals have recently been found in carp and rainbow smell, which is caught and consumed by the bucket. The state health department says ingesting even small amounts of mercury, PFOS or PFAS, has been linked to thyroid hormone imbalance, neurological effects, and cancer. And while the unsafe levels of chemicals were typically found in large fish, the science is changing. With PFOS, unfortunately, that's kind of breaking all of the, the rules that we thought were pretty standard for these chemicals. Um, you know, we found PFOS uh, at higher levels in smaller fish. Um, we've issued a couple guidelines for smelt, which are, you know, really small fish. The state health department is now working to update their annual fish consumption guidelines. While MDHHS has advised anglers not to eat fish like carp from certain lakes, the department says they could be tightening consumption guidelines on other fish. You know, fish can have many great health benefits. Um, when, they, when they're caught locally, they can provide, you know, a cheap source of protein for people. Um, but it is important to balance those benefits with the risks that can happen when, you know, the fish have more chemicals. MDHHS says they're planning to release updated guidelines when it comes to fish consumption this coming spring. Reporting here in Detroit, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News.